and welcome back. Today, I'm remixing one of my remixes. I'm doing this so I can test out embedding magnets in the print. I had this idea a while back, but I'm definitely not the first one to think of it, so now I'm just gonna put it to the test. Some of you may have already printed one of these little magnetic skull boxes that I remixed a while back where I split the skull in two pieces, the face and the crown. I use them mainly to hold guitar picks. Okay, so in Tinkercad, here's the original design of the face and the crown where the magnet holes are clearly visible. Now over here in the new design, if I turn it into a hole, you can first see that I had to change the cylinder that holds everything into something with a bit of a point, because this will have to be printed upside down and I don't want to have to use supports. I may go back and change this to be more rounded over and less of a point, but you can also see I moved all the magnet pockets to one millimeter under the surface. So two millimeters total between them. And I'm hoping they will still be able to attract each other. These are cheap little magnets, but it should be fine. I think. Right? In Cura, I used three walls for strength and only 10% infill. And if I slowly scroll down through the model here, you can see the magnet pockets get covered up around the 15th layer. So what I want to do is pause the print at the 14th layer. Like I said, this version of the model has to be printed upside down because if I flip it over, the magnet holes just won't print correctly because of the angle at the top of the skull here. Just ignore the crown over there. But if you have a model that is flat on top, you can print it upright. You'll just have to pause the printer at a higher layer. Anyway, in main sale, I uploaded and started the print. Under the printing section, you can see the current layer here. So I'm going to come back and pause that when it gets to layer 14. It'll probably take about 10 minutes or so. There's other ways you can pause the print. You don't have to sit here and wait. Manually pressing pause is just how I'm doing it for now because the normal pause at layer G-code script in Cura doesn't work right away with Clipper. I'm pretty sure you have to edit the printer configuration file again, but I'm not 100% sure at the moment what to do. However, when I get the time to figure it out, I will of course share it. Okay, so I paused at layer 14 by clicking the pause button up top. Then I went over to the printer. The first thing I did was put some super glue into all the holes just to be sure the magnets won't pop out and try to stick to the extruder or my steel nozzle. I think the spring steel plate was also attracting them too so that helped to hold them down. Now an important step here was to place both magnets in the crown in one direction then flip the stack of magnets over so the opposite pole will be showing before placing the other two magnets in the face. This is done to make sure that when it's done printing, the magnets in the crown and the face will attract instead of repel each other. After that, I just made sure they were snug and went back to mainsail and resumed the print. And now they're covered, so I'm just going to let the print finish.
All right, and here it is done. I'm glad I chose this white Creality filament because it's pretty translucent and you can see the magnets through it, which I thought was pretty cool. And you can see why I'm considering changing the inside shape of the box to be more rounded on the bottom. Uh, it really struggled here to print without supports. Anyway, now let's see if the magnets work. And it fits like a glove. And the magnets attracting each other still feels pretty strong. All right, that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate you tuning in. Catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever.